Welcome to our daily movement. Today's workout, we're gonna be doing a lifting component and then we're gonna be doing a little workout. Uh, it's gonna be easy, body weight, plus some dumbbell exercises, but everything can be scaled and modified depending on what you're doing. doing. So let's get started. For today's lifting component, we're gonna be focusing on the legs and the core today. So if you have a barbell, we're gonna be doing some back rack reverse lunges. I'll give you guys some modifications, so stay tuned for that. But for the back rack reverse lunges, this is a great go-to movement if you're looking to build core strength as well as leg strength. So the bar is gonna be in a front rack position. You wanna set up so that the bar would essentially be in a rack where it's underneath your shoulders. So I will put my hands at the edge of the smooth part, thumb on top or around. I would then imaginarily, imagine me pulling myself underneath that squat rack. Then I'm gonna stand. I want my arms close and tight to my body so I'm creating this nice stack, stacked position versus having my arms out here. Now, if you have mobility issues or shoulder limitation, you can go wider, but keeping the arms close and tight to your torso is gonna help you be more compact and feel more comfortable as you do these lunges. So I'll step up out of the rack, take a small step back, from here, we're doing reverse lunges. We're gonna be performing 10 reps total, so essentially five on each arm or leg, excuse me, but we are alternating legs. So from here, my feet are about hip width distance apart. I'm gonna take one step back, start with my right leg, for example. I'll take a back knee to the floor. 90 degree angle is being created with both my front and back leg, then I'll return to the starting position, and then I'll switch legs, alternating sides. Notice as I step back, I'm creating a nice stable space where I have my feet about hip width distance versus tight roping up and stepping directly behind that front leg. I want some space between my feet. I wanna make sure I'm stable as I step back. So for each lunge or rep, I take a big breath, brace, think of pushing my abs out, lunge, return back to starting, then I'll switch and again, total of 10 reps. Once I'm finished, I'll rack the bar. You're then going to rest two minutes after the two minute mark, you'll complete a total of four sets for today's lifting. The focus here is to build core strength. I actually did these early to, earlier today. I love back rack reverse lunges. So you're looking to build core strength, hip flexors, quads, hamstrings, butt, great exercise. If you haven't done lunges in a while, start with light weights, but the intention is to build upon each set. So four sets of 10 increasing load. If you're new, start with a the barbell, then slowly add weight from there. Once you wrap that up, we have a little conditioning piece. It's gonna be called a chipper. A chipper essentially where you chip away at movements and you're gonna go one movement at a time. We're gonna perform 50 air squats, 40 push-ups, 30 dumbbell reverse lunges, 20 dumbbell renegade rows, and then 10 jump squats. I'll give some modifications if you guys don't have equipment, but for the air squat, feet are underneath the shoulders, toes from dot You're gonna push your butt straight down, hip crease gets below the top of the thigh, Pushing the knees out over the toes, think foot or knee in the middle of the foot, arms out in front. The reason I put my arms out in front is to counterbalance my body weight, allows me to keep my torso more upright versus if I just keep my hands here, my chest may come forward. That might also impinge me or prohibit me from getting me full range of motion. If you can't get your hip crease below the top of the thigh, you can set to a bench or box or get as low as you can. For the push ups, you wanna think line of action. So wrist is gonna be in line with your shoulder. So shoulder, elbow, wrist. I'm in this plank position. Feet are about hip width distance apart. I bend at the elbow, chest and belly touch, pressing all the way up. You can modify by dropping to the knees, lifting the toes and performing those repetitions. After those 40 push-ups, you'll then grab a pair of dumbbells and you're going to do 30 reverse lunges. So we just did reverse lunges in the lifting. So now we're gonna do a finisher. You're gonna grab a light load, dumbbell, reverse lunges. If you do not have any dumbbells, do not have any dumbbells. Just take the dumbbells out and do reverse lunges. You can also hold the dumbbells up in this front rack position, but I prefer to have them by my thigh, keeps my arms nice and long, especially after doing the push-ups. Once you finish those, you're then going to do the renegade rows. So in a renegade row, I have my feet outside my shoulders, a nice wide stance here. I'm gonna shift my weight to one, one direction. So if I go to the left, I row the right. If I switch, I go to the right, row my left. This is a great core exercise not only for your abdominals, but also shoulders and hips. You wanna minimize to have a big aggressive turn. You minimal movement here, shifting to the load. You can always modify by dropping to the knees and lifting the toes as modifications. Modifications, excuse me. After those 20 reps, you'll then get back into that squat position and 10 jump squats. So you're looking to get some explosion, explosion and a little bit of plyometric work here. Hip crease below the top of the thigh. As I come away from the floor, I jump. 
jumping as high as I can, 10 repetitions. Now, if that's very much, a lot for you, too much, then you can always cut everything in half, in half, excuse me, instead of 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, it'll be 25, 20, 15, 10, and five. Nothing's wrong with modifying, nothing wrong with scaling, find whatever works best for you and utilize that for today's workout. Now, if you guys found this beneficial, helpful, please share with others, I would hopefully found this, hopefully you found this inspiring. Today is one of those days where I cannot talk. <laughs> hopefully you found this inspiring, motivating, and it allowed you to get some sort of exercise or fitness in. Remember, it doesn't matter if you're doing lightweight, no weight, body weight movements. Some movement is better than no movement. If you guys want to continue to follow along, feel free to subscribe and share this with others. Hopefully this was beneficial. Feel free to leave a comment below what you want to see more of. If you guys have any questions, drop me a comment and I'll get to you as well.